Today I want to talk about 5 reasons you should not go to Carleton University. There's too many positive people out here spreading positive information. We really don't need that. We want to give you the actual facts. We want to give you all the information so you really know that you're making the right decision. I'm going to give it to you straight and to give you context, I am a 4th year software engineering student at Carleton and I can answer any questions or anything you might be wondering about in the comments below. This decision is a very important decision. You need to know the good and the bad. The university that you select is going to have a huge impact on who you even become as a person. It's going to affect the people you meet, if you fall in love, if you join any clubs, if you get diagnosed with erectile dysfunction. It really is a huge, huge decision. First thing I want to talk about is about the people that live in Ottawa. And I just want to say that there are some crazy, clinically insane, completely out of their minds wacko people that are in Ottawa, so you need to know that. There are a few times I've gone on the bus and an actually insane person got on the bus too, and I literally will fear for my life. Try not to make eye contact. That's my advice to you. Do not make eye contact. But basically my advice is that you should come to Ottawa, if you're, especially if you're from out of Ottawa, and experience, just, just experience it. You're gonna stay for a week or maybe a weekend, and get to know the people, ride the transit, stay out for some nights, and, and really get a feel for all the all the grime, all the beautiful grime of Ottawa. The next thing I want to talk about is about the residences in Carleton. In first year, I was placed in Stormont, which is one of the oldest and worst ones there. I have a video from I was doing workout videos back in Carleton. Right, so this is inside of the residence that I was in. And you can see that there is one bed here, it's a single bed, and it's really, really, really small. And I'm doing squats right here in the middle with impeccable form, with my massive, massive legs. And you can see in the corner that there's a little bed right here. Uh, you can see the edge, the edge of the bed. This is the entire room. This is all of it. You're literally sleeping so close, you have a little walking space in between, but your partner is right there on the other side. That's how small this res is. It almost feels like you're transported back into like the 1600s. You're in fundamentally a different time period because everything just feels ancient. Like I have a huge wooden door and like a bed, which is just the worst. It's literally like a cot from a summer camp. It is not comfortable at all. Not to mention you're gonna go in the washroom and you're gonna get the th world's thinnest. I don't know how they found it. Somehow they went to Morocco, they went to Z Zumbampa, I don't know where that is, and they found the world's thinnest toilet paper and decided let's put that in our Carlton residences. I will say that they are coming out with newer residences, but it's important that you tour the residences to get a really good feel and really cross your fingers, pray, hope to God you don't get the same one I did because it was terrible. It was so bad. The next thing I want to talk about is about the professors in general. And I can only speak about my program, which is software engineering. And I had some really terrible professors. Some people didn't even seem qualified to teach. They'll just put up slides and click through them and mindlessly make you memorize pointless information that you will never ever in your life ever need to use. That's not saying that all of the professors are like this, but I've had a few professors where it's sort of questionable how they're even qualified to be teaching anyone anything. The next thing I want to talk about is course selection. Course selection at Carleton is all about losing hair, losing your mind, getting depression, a lot of anxiety. It's really just a it's, you gotta experience it. It's a great, great endeavor. At Carleton, you have to do all of the course selecting, so you need to keep track of the certain times when course registrations open up. And a lot of the times, the courses fill up really, really quickly. So if you're a day late or two days late, your course is completely full, and it's such a headache. It's a terrible, terrible headache to try and get the courses that you need. Courses you literally need for your program, you have to fight. You have to literally put on boxing gloves, and you have to fight the admins. <laughs> Pretty much you have to do that, and every single time I have to do course selection, it is such a headache, I have to do a million override requests, which basically you have to send a message as to like why I need this course and you need to beg them. You need to get on your knees and you physically need to beg these admins to give you courses that are required for your program. It's insane, it's completely insane to me. The final point and the final thing I wanna talk about is about the weather in Ottawa. It gets very, very cold in the winter time, and I'm talking about like cold. Like maybe you th you're thinking cold in your head, Take that level of cold and subtract maybe 20 degrees, that's how cold it is. But even I didn't expect the winters to get so unbelievably cold. You, if you're staying in residence, you're gonna need multiple blankets or maybe like a heater or something like that, but it gets really, really, really cold. Just keep that in mind because that is a significant factor, especially because there's a lot of snow. So in the winter time, it's really hard to get around. Buses get delayed and walking becomes pretty much impossible. So just keep that in mind. Now we'll leave it on one positive note for Carlton. I'll give you one sliver. I'll give you one tiny little thing. If you're a Pokemon Go player, there are really Really good Pokemon gyms, Pokemon raids, and pretty active community at Carleton. So that is the a pretty good positive about Carleton University. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.